Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 16.2. Now this is a great update. It's currently on beta three and it has brought a lot of new features and changes to iOS 16. Most of them are actually very, very useful and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will love this update. So in this video, I will show you guys some more new features that we have discovered on iOS 16.2 and a lot more information you need to know regarding this update which is ready to go and be released to the public. All right, first of all, we're talking about some more new features that you will be able to find on your device running iOS 16.2. Now, these are not necessary, all of them from iOS 16.2 beta 3. There are some that have been on previous betas, but that we have missed and didn't talk about, but they are pretty cool. But before we get into all that, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you're watching my videos and you're currently not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so as most of you guys are currently not subscribed to the channel and that would actually really help out a lot and we're starting things off with a new feature from the control center so whenever you go to your control center and you have your scheduled summary now what you can actually do this is really cool on the scheduled summary you will be able to actually just swipe it away now previously what you had to do is actually tap on the scheduled summary and that would just like open it up and you would see all the details, all the notifications. Now, whether you have it here or whether you have it here under the notification center, you can just swipe it away just like this, just like you do with the normal notifications. You can just swipe it away and clear your scheduled summary as easy as that. Now on the podcast app, we have a small change here as well. When you go to a podcast, instead of just having a plus button right here at the top, now you will have the plus button and it also says follow. So you tap right there if you want to follow a podcast, you can see now it has that button which actually lets you know what you're doing, not just a plus button which you can follow any podcast. Now there is also a new splash screen for the home app. This is the splash screen that you will see on your home app once you have installed iOS 16.2 beta 3 on your device. So let's just translate this. So basically it will show you different information. So you will have display all your accessories in groups according to their category, your home at a glance, and you will have here control your home with a simple button and everything that's new with the home app. This is a new splash screen, which of course will give you a very important information regarding the home app and the new updates that Apple has brought to this app. A new splash screen can be found on the Find My app as well. When you open the Find My app for the first time, this is the new splash screen, which of course shows you what's new with the Find My app on iOS 16.2. And this right here is a very important new feature. Send your location via satellite. So you know that Apple has added the new satellite call feature on the iPhone 14 series, which basically allows you to make a call or send a message, even though you might not be connected to cellular. Now this is really, really cool and very, very useful. Now it will also allow you to send your location via the Find My, Find My app if you don't have any cellular connectivity. Now right here we'll also see Find AirPods in their case and a refreshed map. Now another new feature, which is basically this one right here, but let me show you where you can find it. If you go to the Find My app and you have the satellite call feature on your iPhone, which is currently, as I believe, only available in the USA, you will find right here, share location via satellite. Of course, it will only work when your device is not connected to seller or to Wi-Fi. So it will show just underneath here, send my location. Under share my location, it will show right here as a button to send your location via satellite. Again, if it shows on your device, it might say not available. That's because you have cellular connectivity on your iPhone. Now, as you probably know by now, iOS 16.2 will bring also a very big change, a very wanted change to the always on display on the iPhone 14 Pro series. Well, with iOS 16.2, you can go ahead and go to display and brightness. You will have here the always on display and you can just turn off the wallpaper. So it will just have a dark screen and of course the clock and the widgets and everything that you have on your lock screen or 
also you can choose to show or not show notifications. Now the cool thing about this is that if you turn off the wallpaper, it will actually impact the battery life of your device, of course, in a positive way. Now with the iPhone having the wallpaper all the time in the background, basically the screen is lighted up and when you're on an environment that is very good lighted, it will also turn off the brightness a lot even though it's on the always on display and that way of course that consumes battery. But with this new feature, this will actually save a ton of battery on your device. It actually has an impact as of course the screen here is completely turned off and the only things that are turned on are these pixels right here and of course of the widgets if you have any and of course that circle around the dynamic island otherwise every part of the screen will be turned off that way you will get much better battery life out of your iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. Now when talking about battery, iOS 16.2 looks very good. Currently with beta 3 is actually looking much better than beta 2. And we can take a look here at the last 10 days. And here we have the chart. So you can see like two days ago we had there with about like 65, maybe 60 or 75% battery. We had eight hours, 48 minutes active screen time. That's really great. And the previous day we had here about maybe 65 percent battery we had six hours 33 minutes of active screen time it's looking actually very good and better way better than beta 2 in this current state of beta 3 it's actually quite impressive and i'd never expect like to have huge improvements on battery life from beta to beta but it looks like i was 16.2 beta 3 is actually really good and of course the new feature for the always on display of course helps with battery life that will save a ton of battery. And now let's take a quick look at the performance here. Let's just do a comparison between iOS 16.2 here, which we have the latest Geekbench score. So we have 1889 right there on the single core score, while we have 5588 on the multi core score. So comparing it to right here, iOS 16.1, you can see that it's almost identical on the single core score, but we have quite a huge increase here on the multi-core score. As you can see, 5,365, while it was here 500, 5,588 5, on the multi-core score, so over 200 points there. So it's really, really good. Of course, that shows that this update is, is getting better. And of course, iOS 16 is getting better with this update as it should, even though we had some more, we have some more time to actually have this even more improved and of course perform even better battery wise and performance wise as well. And now let's move on and talk about beta four. So currently we're on beta three and this week Apple didn't release any new betas as we expected to release beta four. But of course it's Thanksgiving on a holiday week. Usually Apple won't release a new update even though we expected it, but it's not here. It will come the next week. Most likely it will be on November 28th or the 29th, the day that Apple will release the fourth beta of iOS 16. Now, I'm not actually expecting much from this new beta. We have a lot of new features that have been added and probably beta four will add just improvements and things like that. Maybe a couple of new features, but don't expect anything big from beta four. I believe this is it. These are the new features of iOS 16.2 and we shouldn't expect a lot of changes with beta four as we're getting very, very close to the release of iOS 16.2 to the public. And in my opinion, this actually might be beta four might even be the last beta of iOS 16.2 because if they release it right here on October 29th, then they will have to release the RC version the second week, actually the first week of December, like December 5th or 6th, because we're expecting this update to come out at around mid December. So that of course will be Christmas, will be holiday season. We don't expect Apple to push this update a lot more. We can expect it to be released probably on the 12th or the 13th of December. These are the dates that I'm expecting for the release of iOS 16.2. So expect a new beta, beta four next week, probably the RC version on the first week of December, and then the final release of iOS 16.2 to the public 
on the th third or the second week of December, probably right here the 12th or the 13th of December. So as a conclusion, what's next for iOS 16? Well, this year I'm pretty sure we're seeing just this release, iOS 16.2. We will have another beta, the RC version, and then the final release, but I don't expect Apple to actually release any other updates like a point update. Don't expect that to happen, probably will just continue with iOS 16.2 and that will actually be most likely the last iOS release for 2022. Then of course next we can expect iOS 16.3 beta 1 which should come probably in January 2023 but as far as iOS 16.2 goes this should be the last update to iOS 16 for 2022. So that's basically it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. I'll see you on the next video.